Welcome back friends, this is Purvik from the Android developer and we have come up with another tutorial to add the advertisement in your application to monetize well. So let's start with the tutorial. You have to install the Google Play service library from the Android SDK manager. So here it is in the extras field, the Google Play services. You need to install that first to add the advertisement in your applications. So just install it from the android sdk manager go to the eclipse now just create our new android applications uh, just go to file new android application give the appropriate name let's say add demo package name in dot arrow dot add demo uh, provide the appropriate sdk requirements click next next uh, provide the appropriate clipart icon i will choose this one just next Next, say next finish uh, select the appropriate layout over here uh, so this is it we have to add the google play service library to our application so just go to the properties of application properties uh, add the the Google Play service library select the play service library uh, which will useful for the ad advertisement let's say ok you have to choose the Android tab from over here let's say apply say ok go to the Android XML file uh, we have to add the few things over here in the layout file that I have written in the notepad file that is at the top of the layout.xml file you have to add this which is the requirement to show the advertisement in your application just copy these things and just paste it over here this is the schemas for advertisement and we have to give the layout of the advertisement so just copy this thing that is the add view layout with the few properties with height and align parent bottom and with the add size and add unit id the advertisement unit id which we will get from the admob.com just copy these things and just paste it over here so that's it just save it and you can see over in the graphical layout uh, the advertisement view is ready just we have to assign the ID to the add view we have to make the layout better for the add view just go to in the activity.xml file uh, assign the padding bottom padding left and padding right to the 0 dp let's say padding bottom to 0 dp padding left to 0 dp and padding right to 0 dp so it will take much better space on the activity screen as you can see in the graphical layout over here the full float on the screen width of your activity so the layout file is ready over here for our xml file so that is it we have to get the add unit id from the addmob.com so just go to the addmob.com sign into your addmob account Just click on the monetize tab uh, select the monetize new application now search for your application on the library uh, on the play store if you have uploaded it else we will select it from the over here add your application manually we have to give the application name over here so that is we will go to the Eclipse select your package name from elsewhere okay let's say in Java file the package name is there in dot dot add demo just copy that and just paste it over here in the application name select the appropriate platform let's say android add app mm, it has added the app we have select the banner adver uh, banner advertisement so just select it over here uh, no we will select the refresh rate uh, let's say 30 second refresh rate of for the advertisement so it will refresh that one and the add unit name let's say bottom banner on activity 
I'll just save it and it will give you the add unit ID and the add unit name uh, just copy that particular add unit ID from over here just copy it and go to your XML file activity dot XML file just paste that add unit ID over here for that particular add view now just go to the admove.com and let's say done with the registration of our application for the monetizement so we have done with the registration of application for the monetizement now this is the layout is complete over here with the registration with the backend monetizement now just go to the source folder we have to modify the java file so go to main activity dot java let's build the workspace first so all resources will be loaded up now take one add view add view equal to find view by id let's say r dot id dot add view that id which we have given to the advertisement view uh, typecast it to the add view next add request the object name will be add request equal to new add request dot builder dot add test device that last thing add test device right now just give the temporary test device name let's say abc uh, next dot build so it will just create the your add request and just you have to assign that request to the add view let's say add view dot load add and that add request which object we have created so this is it the add view will load that request which will send from the activity to that particular file now we have to modify uh, modify the android manifest file over here for our application and we have to give two permissions to access the internet the first one is the network state access the network state and the second permission is access the internet uh, which is from over here the permission for the internet so our application can contact to the admob account which is the online monetizement account now just go to the android manifest file we have to add the metadata for the google play services and activity for the advertisement view that i have noted down in the notepad file so here it is uh, just copy these two things metadata and the activity the metadata is required for the google play services google play services and the activity is required for the ad activity to load the ads on the activity particular activity with the few parameters that the configuration changes parameter just copy this thing and just paste it over here uh, after the main activity we have completed with the layout and the manifest registration just execute application oh let's say some something has got wrong in the activity field okay configuration changes okay that space is misplaced over here so just remove that space and now again execute that I'll just wait for the few seconds to add, add to refresh on the activity screen uh, it has take too much time uh, something has went wrong mm, let's check it out mm, just go to the locket what has the problem I think in very unknown request error cannot determine the request type is and unit id is correct or oh, there was a problem getting an error response okay 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 uh, we have to assign the add test device over here so just go to the locket just filter your messages with the ad and just go to that particular message which shows the test device id over here just filter similar message just copy this test device id from over here and just paste it over here in the place of the temporary abc name just paste it 
so this is it now this again executor application when an application start you have to wait for the few seconds to let it connect with the admob account and load the ads over here so just wait for a few seconds okay so that is the advertisement banner this is the taste banner that we will get over here and that is how you will get the advertisement banner in your applications uh, just if you want to show the actual banner the real banner then just go to the java file just comment add taste device dot add taste device just comment it for the one time and just execute your application again mm. say just wait for the few second okay so that is how you will load the actual advertisement in your application so this is how you will add the advertisement in your application let's say the banner advertisement so this is done so please like and provide the appropriate comment on our tutorials and please subscribe to our channel uh, to let us improvise for the future tutorials thank you very much